So today we're headed to the West Charleston campus. I got a virtual meeting with a student who reached out to me about a month ago. The student had plans for some of the empty spaces on campus. So I took that plan to all the VP provosts of all the campuses, Clarissa Coda, Sonia Pearson, and Patty Charlton. So today, I'm gonna update that student on everything that took place at those meetings. And then together, we're gonna come up with the next plan of action to converting these empty spaces into study spaces for the students. And we have made it, finally. You have to forgive me if we have a little bit of sweat on us because uh, it's about 90 degrees and it's only gonna be 115 later. But I'm still looking forward to this meeting. So we just gotta go to the library today and get set up. So actually the library was a little too crowded. So I think instead of taking my meeting in the library where it's supposed to be quiet, I'm gonna do it in the student union. So let's get up in here. So this is just one of the spaces that the student was suggesting that we transform into a study area, a study zone, if you will. The idea would be to have seating here, comfortable seating with desks, possibly computers, and uh, information about the school so students are aware of more of the resources that we have here. I was made aware that as soon as a lot of these spaces were vacant, they came up for a bid, basically. Uh, everyone wanted a piece of them. They, everyone has ideas for them. So this is just one of the ideas, and hopefully it's something that can be done. What's up, guy? So while I'm waiting for the student union to be open, I thought I may as well give my five minute motivation. This time it's gonna be focused towards my Senate. Senate, I want you to realize that we are supposed to be the voice of the students. Thoughts in the brain proceed words from the mouth. The students are to provide the thoughts and we are to provide the voice. So when you're in your class and you hear complaints or if you hear praises, that's voice. You listen to that and catalog that. Remember, it, to hear the student voice, to engage with our students, you don't always have to send out a massive survey. It doesn't have to be formal. It could just be a, a conversation with your friends that you had about the student government or the College of Southern Nevada. So always be aware and mindful of your fellow colleagues, your classmates, of what their experience is here and what can be improved or what they like as well. Because we're not only here to provide complaints, we're here to provide the voice of the school. What do students think about the College of Southern Nevada? And it looks like the door is gonna be open for me, so we're gonna go inside. That's your five minute motivation for the day. Thanks for listening. So right now, I'm prepping for my meeting with the student. And like I discussed earlier, we're going to be going over what happened in my previous meeting with all the VP provosts. And then after that, we're gonna go over a plan of action for how we're gonna get these empty spaces um, 
reutilize for our students. So before I start prepping, I'm gonna send this email to the facilities director to see if I can get a key made for the student union. I feel like it would definitely help me in my day-to-day -day activities serving the student body if I actually have a key for the student union where I work. I'll let you in on what happened with the last VP Provost, which is Patty Charlton. Patty, she's very nice as well. She likes to joke around. Uh, if you've ever been to some of the uh, President's Town Hall, she's the lady who updates us on all the COVID-19 advancements and everything that's going on. So as far as the A building, which is where you wanted to uh, set up the study zone, uh, that building is most likely going to be utilized for the, the advanced manufacturing we're creating this advanced manufacturing program. And so they were thinking about utilizing that building for the advanced manufacturing uh, program. However, that doesn't mean that there can't be a space in there that's dedicated for uh, you know, study zones or possibly when she gives us a tour, we would find another place for uh, studying. So that's VP Charlton at the Anderson campus. So if you're good with that, I can set up a virtual meeting with her and then we will go from there. So now that that meeting is over, I'm working on the agenda for our Friday's meeting, as well as doing homework for an economics class that I'm doing. So first I'm gonna make sure that agenda is ready because we send it out the Monday before our Friday's meeting. Of course, the Senate, we meet twice a month on Fridays. So I gotta make sure that's done because I have to send it out around five o'clock tonight. So on to that. So the meeting with the student went well. I brought her up to date on all of the uh, information that I received from all the VP provosts. And so now we're gonna set up a meeting with me, the student, and each provost so that the student can express their ideas uh, directly to these uh, senior level faculty. I'm supposed to function as the voice of the students. However, I like to encourage students to bring their voice to the conversation, their actual voice. Uh, people are a lot more motivated to help out and work for people they, they know. They see their face, they hear their voice. It gives a lot more motivation. So that's the next step, setting up these meetings with the provost, with the student, so the student can express their ideas and hopefully we can get something accomplished as far as these new study zones for our students at CSN. So overall, good day. We had a meeting with a student and hopefully we can get that student's ideas accomplished. I also finished the agenda for Friday's meeting. So that's gonna be sent out tonight. I did a few IDs as well for some of the nursing students or medical students. They need IDs, so we're making them. <laughs> so that wraps about everything up. And here's your student body president signing off from the College of Southern Nevada.